Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like this content. And yeah, we'll be coming up with some Udemy stuff pretty soon. I'm working on that as we speak, so it's taking a little more time than I thought. But hopefully you'll get some of that if you're interested uh, in a little bit. But what we're going to do today is we're going to keep working on this text tag system just so we can see what's going on in the world whenever we want a little text to pop up. We can make sure that happens. And that's why we're using a system as well. So let me just illustrate this for you real quick how this works because I want you to understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little text tag here. But we'll have many text tags popping up everywhere in the game. All right. But we want one larger system that keeps track of all of these and where they are, how long they've been alive and what the hell's going on. And us as a player outside here, we'll say this is the player or this is the user will or the programmer, I guess in this case, will be able to access the bigger system, which can then create new ones for us. New text tags for us easily. And where they should be created, what type they should be, and everything will be specified in here. So we'll have different types of text tags we want. We want damaging text tags or uh, healing text tags, damaging text tags, uh, maybe some EXP text tags, systems, whatever. And then we'll be able to select these presets and create them where we want at a certain position. That's a little easier than specifying everything for a single text tag every time we want to create it. That's why we're going to have this system. Hopefully you understood my beautiful picture here, uh, but that's what's going to happen. Now, each text tag is going to be, uh, here we go, is going to be created using a, there we go, uh, is going to be created using a font. And each font um, is going to be set SF font pointer font is going to be set from the outside. So the system in itself is going to keep a font variable set here. So let's do that below font font. Very good. We'll set that. Uh, and then we probably will need a SF vector. Uh, SF vector. No, not SF vector. STD vector. Text tag pointer. Tags. Good. That is going to be our internal array. And it's going to keep track of just about everything. And we'll be able to remove from it. We'll be able to do stuff like that. We'll see if we want to do this with a regular vector or make our own. We'll see how we as we go along because these vectors, if you want to remove something, it kind of reshuffles everything. We don't like that. So uh, we'll have to probably make our own. But anyway, let's keep working here. Text tag uh, destructor. Wait, uh, here we go. Where's this damn tilde thing? It's always messing with me. OK, good. And then we're going to have some functions and everything. Uh, this is just going to set the text for it. So we're going to have a SF or no, we're just going to have a STD string here. Text SF or float pos x float pos y. I'm just kind of winging it here. So hopefully this works. Am I recording right now? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Uh, so I'm winging it, like I said. So we'll have a position, a font text position. What else can we need? We also want a color, SF color, color. Okay, unsigned character or unsigned char size. Um, and then position character size, uh, float lifetime. Good, and then float speed. And, 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 and what else we need is which direction it's going to move. So we'll have a pretty, pretty flexible text tag here. So we're going to have the text there, color here, 
character size, lifetime and speed down here. Probably gonna set the direction right here as well. Float deer x float deer y. So hopefully you can see why I don't want to do this each time I want to create a text tag. Why we're using a system instead, which will predefine these and give us, you know, we'll be able to use those. If we want to predefine something else, we'll define that in the system. Good. And then we're going to have some private variables here, which will save most of the stuff. So, for example, we need to save the directions. So, float dear y dear x. Good. We need to save that. We don't need to save the positions because it's going to be set from that position. It's going to be created there. We need a text sf text, which will be the shape of it. And it will hold all this information. The direction is pretty much all we need to save. Lifetime uh, float lifetime float speed. Well, yeah, the direction will be controlling which way and the speed will be how fast. We also need the delta time later when we update it. Good, guys. Hopefully you can see this working. We need a function. Void update const float reference dt. And we also need to render this. Void render const or sf render target pointer target so we'll be rendering this uh, very nice very nice once that's done we're gonna have to define these in here i forgot about that because this is an internal class good and then boom update it render it okay define those Let's see what will delete the tag. So the tag will be deleted in the system, not in here. We don't have anything in here that is really uh, dynamic. So that should be fine. But what we can do is we can do this lifetime. Uh, da, 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 da. This lifetime minus equals. 1.f multiplied by dt and that's not going to be good because it's going to be a little too small so 100 multiplied by dt and once lifetime is zero we will remove this uh, and we should be able to get a accessor um, and do a boolean const bool can uh, uh pff, let's see is mm, what I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring this out uh can be removed we'll keep it like that okay can be removed const pretty sure whoops and then this is going to just return this lifetime is less or equal to 0 0.f. We can do this inline as well. Good. So we'll just return if it's less or equal to 0. If it is, we'll be able to remove it. Um, if this lifetime is greater or equal to greater than 0 0.f and then we'll create a little thingy for it right here and we'll do all our stuff while it's alive so that's what we want to do we want to move it we want to do everything in here while it's alive the rendering is very easy this or target dot draw this text Good, so the render part is done. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. What I'm going to do next 
is pretty much uh, make sure we create this tag here as well. So this text in the constructor uh, set font will be your first uh, kind of thingy. And then we want to do font like that. We can do a reference here, actually. We don't need a pointer. So reference to the font and we'll set the font for it. Once that's set, um, we need to do the position. Set position. Pos x pos y. All right. Uh, then this. Uh, dear x equals dear x. This dear y equals not t y dear y. Good. And what else variables do we have? We have lifetime. Whoops. This lifetime equals lifetime. This speed equals this. Sp no, just speed. Okay. Good. So now we have some stuff. Before I end the video, I just want to make sure I do the color as well. This text dot set color. I think it's fill color. Yeah, set fill color. Color. This text dot set uh, character size. Charac character char size. There we go. Okay. All right. So font. Good. Text, we need to also set the text. This text dot set string if we want any kind of default string. Otherwise, we don't need this. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything special. And then, okay, so but the font direction, we don't have to really care about right now, I think. Yes, we do. We did set it. Lifetime color, all that stuff. Okay, good, guys. We're good to go. This is a nice constructor. In the next video, we're going to keep working on this. Uh, we will be checking for all this stuff. We'll be fixing the update function, making the render work here, make sure we can get a text tag on the screen, hopefully uh, in a few videos here. So we should be able to use this. All right, guys and girls, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all the support. Really appreciate it. Check out my wife's channel as well, if you can, the link's in the description. She does a bunch of funny stuff, uh, but there you go. Thank you so much. Take care. See you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.